管是有问题的时候，或预判有问题的才去管。但是我们现在明显不足。好的创新，不怕监管。The Chinese government, CCP, has directed Jack Ma to come back as Alibaba's CEO, causing a stir. What led to this decision and how would it impact Alibaba's future? The unfolding events keep everyone curious and uncertain. Jack Ma, the person who started Alibaba Group, decided to step down as the leader of the group in 2019. But now, there's some new information about him. Recent reports say that Jack Ma has done something important with the company's stocks. You know, Stocks are like pieces of a company that people can own. Well, it turns out that Jack Ma has become the biggest owner of Alibaba Group by getting more stocks. It's like having the most pieces of a puzzle. But in this case, it's pieces of the company. Even though he's not the leader anymore, he still has a big role in the company because he has the most ownership. This shows that Jack Ma still cares a lot about Alibaba Group and wants to be a big part of it. In recent years, Alibaba's market value went down by a big 78%. People are talking a lot about Jack Ma because he increased the amount of Alibaba that he owns. This made many wonder why he did it and how it might affect people who invest in Alibaba. Investors are curious and maybe a bit worried about what Jack Ma's move means. They are thinking about how this might change their trust in the company. When a big owner like Jack Ma buys more of a company, it can make people wonder if he sees something good that others don't, or it might make them worried about problems the company is facing. So Jack Ma's actions are making people talk, and it's like a puzzle investors are trying to solve to understand what might happen next. In the last part of 2023, Jack Ma bought a lot of Alibaba shares, around $500 million worth. Now he owns more than 4.3% of Alibaba, making him the biggest shareholder. Joseph say, who is the chairman of Alibaba, also got more shares and became the second largest owner. But on the other side, SoftBank, a big company, sold some of its Alibaba shares, about 512 million of them. Guess what? They made a profit of about $61 billion from that. Alibaba said, we're happy that more people believe in our future success. This was their reply to news about someone buying more shares in the company. On the other side, SoftBank, which is like an investor, has been selling some of its Alibaba shares. They're doing this to get money for their vision fund, which is like a big piggy bank for investments. This plan could bring in more cash and make Alibaba even stronger. So, investors are not only happy about the stock going up, but also curious and hopeful about what these changes could mean for the future of Alibaba. Alibaba and Ant Group, two big companies in China, had some problems with the government rules. They faced challenges from regulators, which means the people who make sure everyone follows the rules. This led to fines and big risks for how the companies could keep running. Alibaba, the company that owns Ant Group, had its market value go down a lot. Imagine it had $670 billion less compared to the most money it had before in March 2023. That's a huge drop in how much people think the company is worth. Now, after Jack Ma, the person who started Alibaba, finished working, he didn't just sit at home. He started doing things to help others. He gave money for good causes like helping people in need and supporting agriculture, which is about growing food. Jack Ma also opened an online shop where people can buy things on the internet. It's on a big online marketplace called Tmall, which is part of Alibaba. But the special thing about Jack Ma's shop is that it sells agricultural products. That means you can buy things related to farming and growing food. So even after finishing his big job at Alibaba, Jack Ma is still busy doing good things for people and exploring new things in farming and technology. In 2023, the Chinese internet industry encountered some tough times as big companies like Alibaba and Tencent saw a drop in their market value. This means that the overall worth of these companies on the stock market went down. To cope with this situation, Alibaba decided to do something called share buybacks. This is like when you buy back your toys that you once sold to a friend. In business, it means that Alibaba repurchased a significant amount of its own shares from the stock market. Why did they do this? Well, it's a way for Alibaba to show everyone that it's doing really well. Imagine you have a lemonade stand and on a hot day, you buy back some of the lemonade you sold to your neighbors. It's like saying, hey, my lemonades are so good that I want them back and others should want them too. For Alibaba, 
buying back shares is a way to tell investors and the public that the company is strong and doing great. It's like shouting, look at us. We believe in ourselves and you should too. This helps to make investors feel more confident about Alibaba's future, like when you trust your friend to return your toys. So in 2023, the Chinese internet industry faced challenges, but Alibaba used share buybacks to send a positive message about its performance and make investors feel good about supporting the company. Even though Jack Ma's comeback gave a little boost to the confidence of people who invest money, the future of China's economy still seems unsure. Many internet companies are trying to save money by cutting down on their expenses, and this is making it hard for investors to feel confident about putting their money in these companies. Imagine you have a friend who borrowed some money from you. At first, you felt a bit better when they started paying you back a little, but you're still not totally sure if they can pay back everything. Similarly, Jack Ma's return made some people feel a bit better about China's economy, but there are still problems. Companies on the internet, like online shops or apps, are trying to spend less money, and this is making it tough for investors, the people who give money to these companies, to trust that everything will be okay. In recent times, the Chinese internet industry has been facing a tough phase, often called a cold winter. Even though there have been some encouraging signs with Jack Ma's return, challenges persist. This period is marked by difficulties and uncertainties. Jack Ma, a prominent figure in the Chinese business world, has made a comeback, which brings some optimism. However, the overall situation remains challenging. The term cold winter suggests a time of hardship where companies may find it tough to grow or sustain themselves. Factors such as regulatory changes and increased scrutiny on tech companies contribute to the industry's difficulties. These challenges create a sense of caution and hesitation among businesses, affecting their plans and strategies. Despite the challenges, it's important to note that the situation can change and industries often go through ups and downs. The hope is that with resilience, adaptability and strategic measures, the Chinese internet industry can weather this cold winter and emerge stronger in the long run. In conclusion, the Chinese internet industry is facing a challenging cold winter marked by uncertainties and difficulties. Jack Ma's return brings hope, but regulatory changes and scrutiny pose ongoing challenges. However, industries can adapt, and with resilience, the hope is that the Chinese internet sector will overcome these hurdles and thrive in the future. So that's all from today's video. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe for more such news. Share your thoughts in the comment section and share it with your friends. See you soon.